guys, it's Chris here from Low Carb Life and today we are making a faux soup. Um, it's going to be pretty much perfect for those winter nights. Uh, it's going to be absolutely delicious. Plenty of spices in there to really give it that uh, authentic flavour. We've got a bunch of different things. We've got our Osso Buco, some pork bones and of course the very thinly sliced beef um, as well as some of our Asian vegetables um, that we're going to have. But let's get into it. Alright guys, so we're going to start off um, dry frying our spices. So here we've got some cinnamon, we've got some fennel seeds, um, black peppercorns, about 10 of those, about 4 star anises there, and some whole coriander seeds. Um, so we're going to dry fry those, getting those flavours to start coming out a bit more, um, and we're going to do that over here. Alright, All right, so we've got these ready, we're going to start popping them in. We've got a medium heat going here. Um, we're not trying to burn them, we don't want to get any bit of flavours, so just once you pop them in, start moving them around, and we'll see how we go here. Alright, it'll start smelling really good. Alright, so that's nice and warm. And then after we've got these spices going, we're going to give them a bit of a blend, um, and then that's going to that's gonna go into the stock, and we'll get all those delicious oils out of these bad boys. Alright, so that should be nearly enough. It's starting to smell really good. You can start hearing a bit of popping from the coriander and fennel seeds there. So we'll uh, get this off just over that heat a bit. Alrighty. So next we're going to pop our dry fried spices into the uh, blender to powderize them as much as we can. Alright, so get them in there. Get it on a bit of an angle so your blades are always in the, uh, in the spice mix and then away we go. Wow, that smells really good. So, guys, it doesn't have to be super fine because we're going to strain this. These guys will swell up a bit as well um, uh, when they go into the broth, so don't stress too much about that. So, next we're gonna move along and prep our stock base. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna get the stock ready. So we're just gonna pretty roughly just chop these onions. Just nick, nick the top off. Don't worry about peeling the skin uh, because it is, it is a stock it's, uh, or a broth. It doesn't particularly matter. Yeah. Make sure you just, just pull a bit of that off if you like. Anything that's loose and easy to get, get stuck into that. Um, just rip that off, it shouldn't take too long. So you're going for one red onion, one brown onion, um, just, just because of the different flavors they have, but it really comes out nicely. The skins will give it a little bit of color with the garlic. Again, just bang, crack them in half. That should get out all those nice flavors for that. All right, and the ginger, we're just gonna nick, nick that into a few smaller size chunks. And half again. And half again there. So we want to push here. One and two. So now before we actually put the onions and spices in, we're gonna chop up the meatier parts of the osso buco. Um, just to give it a bit more surface area, roughly again. Um, don't stress too much about making sure they're even or anything. Gelatinous sort of forming bits on the in between the meat. So if you have a look at that, you can see all these little sinewy type lines, and that's gonna Thicken up that broth a bit, to make it quite nice. Alrighty. Alright, so we're gonna brown them up before we start. Alright. Plenty of marrow in these bones as well, which is gonna go really nicely. Alright guys, once we've got the meat ready and our bones ready, we're going to head over to the pan. So this one's already quite hot. We've got a, a pressure cooker here, um, and we're going to pop a bit of oil in, a bit of salt, and then we're gonna put our meat in as well. So we're having the oil that just so we can get that meat nice and brown. Alright, pop that in there. So we've got our um, bones and beef in there um, cooking now. We're just going to pop the other bones in and our onions, garlic and ginger. 
Alright, the smoke alarm just went off because I had the pan really high to get that uh, beef brown. Once we've got that, so I've already put one kettle, uh, so about nearly, nearly two litres of water into uh, the pressure cooker and we're going to put a bit more in there, so another kettle full um, to bring it up to the pressure cooker line and then we're going to put our spices in as well. Alright, so in go the spices. Make sure you get, make sure you get all of the goodness out of that. Table, tablespoons of fish sauce as well to develop and get more of a rich flavour. Alright, the kettle's boiled, so we're going to put the next two litres in this pot. So we've got about four litres. Alright, we'll get him on. Alright, popping that on there. Lid on. So we can get that seal across on the higher pressure setting. And we're going to let this go for about an hour. So a good chef always cleans up after themselves. So now we've got the uh, chilies, uh, garlic, and mince ready for our beef balls. So we're going to make some nice, sort of chewy beef balls. Bit of fish sauce, bit of cracked pepper. Um, we're going to add a little bit of meat at the start. Give that a quick blend just to get that um, nice and sticky and, and blending together. Then we're going to continually add a bit more meat at a time until we've got it all in there. Now you're looking for um, the meat to sort of come together. When you do take the lid off, you'll feel it is quite sticky, and that's the consistency you're looking for. Then we're going to give it a bit of a knead, because that's going to make the beef balls less like meatballs and more kind of that chewy cons consistency that you find, um, you know, in the authentic um, you know, beef ball soups that you can get. So give that a bit of a knead around. Keep a bit of water on hand to, to make sure it's not sticking to your skin, because this stuff is very sticky at this point. Um, but just keep kneading that for around about, you know, about four or five minutes till it really starts coming together and getting sticky. So now we're going to cook the beef balls. So put a bit of water in the pan. I'm going to add a squeeze of lemon juice to this one because the, the acid um, within the lemon is going to stop the balls breaking apart so much. So get a bit of that in there. Then we're just going to squeeze out, um, you know, the, a pretty consistent sized ball as much as you can. Get them, get them nice and round without any rough edges and then pop them in the water. They'll stick to the bottom. Once they've started floating, you know, they're pretty much cooked. So that'll take another sort of five minutes as well. Pull those guys out of there and we'll have them ready for later. So now we've got the pressure cooker just releasing the steam. We want to check out our water levels here or the broth levels. We've kept the water from the beef ball cooking to top that up because it's a pressure cooker we're letting off a lot of steam. Time to strain. And here if you want, you can pull a bit of the meat off the bones. Most of the flavor is out of it, so it's just protein at that point. Now get your broth up to a red hot boil. Get it ready, because we're going to be needing that in a minute um, to cook the veggies and reheat those beef balls and our noodles. So, getting the veggies ready, give the bok choys a bit of a chop. I think we've got two different kinds here. And we've got our spring onions as well. Um, for the garnishing, have a look at that. Mm -mm. Now, pho would just not be complete without noodles. So we've got some low-carb noodles here made out of cognac. So give them a bit of a rinse, then put them straight back into the pot and bring that back up to a boil. Once it's hot, we can start serving these guys into our bowl. And we're going to rinse and repeat with our veggies and meatballs. So pop the meatballs in, get them nice and hot. Once they're ready, dish them out into the bowl. Looking delicious there veggies in, pop them back on, get them up to a rolling boil. They don't need very long because they are quite tender vegetables, so get them out as quickly as you can, about 30 seconds to a minute each um, for these greens. Give them a bit of a stir around as well. Now's the time for our favourite bit, the really thinly sliced beef uh, flank steak. It is really delicious and the hot broth cooks it. Um, as you put it in, so don't worry about any germs or anything, you'll be right. God, look at that steam, absolutely beautiful. And you can see the beef's just starting to change colour already. Time for a bit of spring onion garnishing, a bit of chilli, which really brings it out, and then a little bit of Thai basil on the top. 
finish up with a squeeze of lemon. You can put a bit of onion and a bit of chili oil in there if you like, but look at that. Fantastic, tastes even better. You will not be disappointed, guys. Get into it, enjoy. That's it, please, please, please do subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any other recipes and give us a like as well. Thank you. Thank you.